The HIMARS rocket artillery system is one of the cutting-edge modern weapons gifted by the US to Ukraine to fight Russia. It's meant to be a game-changer like the Javelin ATGMs. So in this video, we will analyze in 3D animation how advanced the HIMARS weapon system is and how it fares against the old Russian-made BM-21 Grads artillery system, which India is also a big user. We will compare the strength and weakness of both the rocket systems. The HIMARS is a multiple rocket artillery system developed by the Lockheed Martin Corporation in the 1990s for the US Army. The HIMARS is a lighter version of its predecessor, the M270 MLRS. A big difference is that the M270 MLRS is track and has two pods with 12 rockets, whereas the HIMARS has tires and has a single pod with only six rockets. The BM-21 Grad was created way back in the 1960s by the Soviet Union. The artillery system is mounted on the Ural 375D 6x6 truck. The Grad is 7.35 meters long and 2.40 meters wide. The rocket launcher is manually lifted using hydraulics. A periscope is used to determine the height of launch. This knob is used for rotating the launcher. The Grad can fire 40 rockets of 122 millimeter caliber in less than 20 seconds. It can be reloaded in just 7 minutes and fired again. This makes the Grad a terrifying weapon. The range of these rockets vary from 15 to 52 kilometers depending on the rocket used. The rocket is 10 feet long and weighs around 56 kgs with a warhead weighing 18 kgs. The rockets are completely unguided and needs ground support to accurately locate the targets. The Grad needs a crew of 3 to operate. The Grad's crew module is not armored. The Grad is used by almost 30 countries and is the most heavily reproduced artillery system in the world. The HIMARS is 7 meters long and 2.4 meters wide. It also needs a crew of 3 to operate. The artillery rockets are mounted on a truck called M1140. This truck is heavily armored to protect the crew. By dimensions, the HIMARS is about the same size as the Grad, but that's where the similarity ends. Unlike the Grads, the HIMARS have a computerized firing system. HIMARS uses both unguided and GPS-guided rockets. The unguided rockets, like the one shown, have range between 15 to 38 kilometers. But HIMARS can also fire the bigger 227mm rockets, which are guided by GPS and initial navigation systems. These rockets have an extended range of up to 92 kilometers. This gives the Ukrainian army a big leap over the Russian Grads. Now let us look at the deployment and tactics of the two rocket systems. The Grad is transported by the massive IL-76 transport plane to the location site. The rockets are then loaded manually into the launch tubes. After this, the Grad would proceed to its intended location site. The HIMARS, on the other hand, is transported by the C-130 Hercules. On landing, the rocket pod is fitted to the truck. The HIMARS truck has an operational range of 480 kilometers. For the Grad, the target location is determined either by a drone or a satellite and is then relayed to the crew who will have to adjust the height and inclination for the launch. The rockets can be launched directly from the cabin or remotely from the vehicle. The Grad fires all its 40 rockets in 20 seconds. The volley of rocket covers an area of 89 acres. The rocket arrives at a great speed and pummels the enemy area. This is called saturation bombing and is intended to bring destruction to a large area in a short amount of time. The HIMARS also has the same destruction ability of the Grads, but the only difference is the great range and accuracy. The HIMARS has a range twice that of the Grads at 92 km. The HIMARS rockets are GPS guided and this makes the HIMARS rocket extremely efficient. Both the rocket systems use the shoot and scoot strategy, that is to fire and quickly move out of the area. This confuses the enemy in locating the rocket launcher. Now let us look at the strength and weakness of both the systems. Since the 1960s, the Grads have been used in numerous wars. From the engineering point of view, the Grad is a low-tech system. But during its operational service, this artillery rocket system has demonstrated an incredible ability to survive. Even if the vehicle is damaged, but its wheels are still spinning, it can be towed to its launch position by another truck and still launch its rockets. 
If the electrical system of the launcher fails, it can still be aimed manually and can use a car battery to launch the rockets. The Grads have a very low maintenance unlike a Howitzer. The launch tubes are just steel pipes and can be loaded numerous times to fire. The Grads simplicity is its biggest strength. The HIMARS on the other hand is a high-tech system. It's way more complicated than the Grads. HIMARS GPS guided rockets are both its strength and its weakness. The accuracy provided by the GPS is undeniably very accurate, but GPS signals can be jammed, as was seen in the Ukraine war. The Russians jammed the GPS, and all weapons relying on the GPS for navigation were rendered least effective. Coming to the cost, each HIMARS launcher with a carrier cost 4 million US dollars, and each GMLRS rocket cost 168,000 US dollars whereas the grads cost just over 100,000 US dollars and each rocket it fires costs just $2,000. The grads are extremely cheap and effective. While the Russian army is still using the grads, they are no longer manufactured or exported. Russia has moved to more advanced systems like the Smirch. India has also moved on and have made their own indigenous rocket artillery systems like the Pinaka MLRS. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.